Hey, guess what this is? It's a pile of wood. And soon it'll be a kitchen. Why is this gonna be a kitchen, you might ask? Well, Alan says other one's too far away. Plus, here in Westbourne, so here it is. Or will be. And with that, we build a kitchen. And by build, I mean they build a kitchen, and I just kind of cause problems. So this is the general plan, and these are all of my scribble scrabbles. But basically, we're gonna take my Weber grill that is liquid propane, we're gonna convert it to natural gas, because we got a little gas stub here that we had put in when we had the house built. So that'll power the grill. And then we got a fridge over there that we put an outlet in for. And so that'll go next to the grill. Then we're gonna have some drawers for some stuff. My nice washing machine grill will go in the corner. And then over here, Aaron has this... My this, part. Yeah, this Dr. Pepper box thing that is a cooler of sorts. And so we're gonna put, we're gonna lower the, lower the end of the outdoor kitchen and put the Dr. Pepper box on the end and then drain the hose. We need to put a hole in for that. <laughs> drain the hose out the end so it can do its ice chest thing. All right, are you ready for me to open up the natural gas? Oh God, that's exactly how you do it. Also, the outside of it is going to be tile. That's the tile that we got. And the top of the kitchen, the countertop was gonna be kind of a butcher block thing we were gonna make, but I found this stuff at the plywood store and it's birch all laminated together. It's like, I don't know, two millimeter strips all the way down. And it should look pretty cool after we do some finishing on it. Hey Aaron, how long is this fridge gonna take to build? Or this, how long is this kitchen gonna take to build? <laughs> uh, no, it's still not done. Oh, oh. Um, two days. It might be longer than two days. He doesn't like that it's gonna be longer than two days. So most of this may be time lapse because we're really not gonna put too much effort into this video, but we're gonna concentrate on the kitchen. You know what less effort in videos means? More views. <laughs> One of our challenges here is that this is a covered back porch, so the whole porch slopes down. So if water ever gets on it, it would go off into the yard. So that means that if we want our countertop to be level, we have to make every single stud a different length, which is ridiculous, but we have this nice laser level here to help us out with that. And also Alan, because his measurements are always super accurate. I got you a protein shake. <laughs> Cheers. What are you doing now, Alan? Well, you know how when you buy fine furniture from the store, all the fasteners are recessed and hidden? I felt like that was what we should do. Also, I put the bolts in the wrong place. But that is a nice finished product. We ran out of wood, so that's it for now. There will be some more bracing in here, probably on the top too. 
up front there's gonna be some big drawers so we'll do something probably top and bottom but the middle part's gonna be drawers but look we'll go to the wood store and there's more wood wondering why I was taking this back apart it's because I forgot one important design consideration that's a trash can we always come out here and have people out here and we never have a trash can so our outdoor kitchen needs a trash can in it but we forgot to put it in luckily we found a spot that it can go we just needed it to skinny out the sides a little bit and this guy will go right in there and he's too tall I forgot to put the boards on the bottom instead of in the middle so we're gonna redo that for a third time now That is a dull blade. Yeah. It's How going in once and it's never coming out again. How are things inside the grill? Oh god. It went better. I'm just gonna fire this up real quick. Make me remember. I don't think you have an update. No pressure. Ah, uh, yes. What we have here is a 95% completed kitchen. And when I say 95%, I mean like, let's just throw some paint on it, a steak on the grill and call it done. <laughs> so what we've done today is we, I welded up some angle iron in here on the grill, drilled some holes in it. We put the grill into place where it's gonna go. And then I think we just did some cement board, right? Like all day. 
cement board. So yeah, next up is tile, and that will be another day because today is kind of coming to a close and we don't want to start that right now. Time for an update. So we did the tile, we did the grout. Uh, the grout or the tile has been cleaned from trying to get the grout stuff off of it. It still has a little bit of a haze on it, but we need to wait till the grout dries to polish it later. And then we also cut the countertop. So you're starting to see what this thing is gonna look like finished. And if you're wondering what's gonna happen over here, this is where we're gonna do a little hinge and then you will hinge up your countertop to put in your trash. So we need to cut another little piece for that. We need to seal all of this and start building some doors and some drawers. So that, next.
time for an update. So we got our countertop all cut out. We also coated it with polyurethane. We did three coats, then wet sanded with 400 grit sandpaper, and then one final thick coat. It came out really nice and smooth. We also polyurethane this guy down here while we were doing that. We cut out our hole in our countertop for our drain for the Dr. Pepper box so the ice chest so the ice chest can drain out the side down there. And then we also polished our tile using a trick I learned from my brother and that is just use regular car polish rather than trying to rub it off and it taking a half hour it literally only takes minutes. Now we also just sealed the tile, so we're waiting for that to dry. Fridge is in his home. And next up, we are going to convert our Weber propane grill to natural gas. And so apparently Weber used to sell kits to do this, but then they got bought out years ago and stopped doing it because of lawyers or something. But there are still people who will sell you a kit to do it. So this is from majesticgrillparts.net and it comes with a new gas line a natural gas regulator, and then these little nub things that regulate the, each burner. So what we're gonna do is we're going to replace our propane line right here. Gonna use our regulator and our new line, connect it over there to the natural gas outlet, and then those little stub things go in each burner right there. And there are videos online about how to do this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And then after that, we're gonna make some doors, we're gonna make some drawers, and then I think we're done.
we finished the drawers here. They uh, come out all the way for doing your drawer things. We're gonna put our cornhole games in here. That's why it's so deep. And then you'll down here, you'll put like your charcoal and all that other stuff. This is stainless steel that we used on the edge. And then we brushed it with the belt sander to get that brushed stainless steel look. Same thing for the grill door here. And then we welded our hinge on right to the stainless steel. Got room under here for stuff. I don't know. And then we got our Dr. Pepper box in here. Drain goes out the side there for rainwater and or ice. And we have our secret trash can that already has trash in it. Wow, that's amazing. And the grill does work. It is all plumbed up. It's very dirty. I need to clean that, but it, it lights. You can see it down there. And we already have used it. It works great in here, even though I'm sure some people will say, don't do that. But you know what? We did it anyway. I'm willing to eat whatever you cook on it. Yes, let's cook some stuff. And until next time, remember, don't eat raw meat. Unless it's like sushi or um, steak tartare. Don't eat raw or meat. Or what's the fish they bury? Uh, Ludicrous? Lud Lud <laughs> Ludifisk? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Welcome to the Leaf Blower channel, where we listen to leaf blowers. Yeah, my, my neighbor has a lot of leaves and he wants to blow them. At 4 a.m. on a Saturday. Are you a grill? I'm a grill. Put hamburgers on me. <laughs> Is your daddy silly? Yeah. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> and if you're wondering what a washing machine grill is, well, this is a washing machine, but you open it up and then it's a grill. Oh my God. Why would anyone do that? Because flavor. Yeah. Or because we threw a bunch of fireworks in it and it started melting. We had to do something with it. So washing machine grill. Hey, I'm just going to go grab the countertop real quick while you're getting in there. I'm just going to, it's warm in here. <laughs> like there was a fire down there. I hope it's not still smoldering. I don't know if the angles are going to... Just bend your knees. Preclude... Okay, I know I can get in. Bend your knees. How much... How Use much, your back. How much disassembly do you want to do to get me out? Oh, we're not disassembling. We're just going to make this your coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I go in, I'm not freaking out. Probably not. I'm stuck. <laughs> Next time on Zero to Awesome, we extricate Alan. I, I really might be stuck. <laughs> Bye. I'm going inside.